utilizing a project contributed by Terry E to show you some tips and tricks um, that I use when creating balance um, on my projects. So let's get started. The first thing I want to start with is the background of my card. Now looking at Terry's example here, she stamped the um, frame from Taggett's number 10 in black all over a white card front. As I'm looking at this, um, I'm thinking one of the things that can be improved upon is that the happy and the 75th just don't take center stage since black is such a prominent color um, on her project. So what I thought I would do is to stamp the frame in Versamark, just creating a slight watermark look um, on a colored card stock, just to um, just to make it look um, a little bit more like a background rather than the prominent part of the card. So what I've decided to use is pure poppy cardstock, and I have that frame stamp, and I'm going to be adding that in Versamark. Now, one other thing I wanted to point out on Terry's project is that. Um, it looks like she probably started stamping in one corner and then worked her way down. And that ends up causing just a little bit of unbalance. And when a card is as simple as this, the background being slightly uneven is quite noticeable. So I just wanted to show you a little trick I have for getting it all nice and even. I'm going to go ahead and ink this frame stamp up with first mark. And I'm going to stamp in the middle first. By stamping in the middle first, you're able to build your background from there and everything ends up centered. So I'm going to stamp on either side of this center to create my first row. And then I'm going to go above and below that. And then the little corners get one more little dab there. And there you go. What I'm going to do is take the banner stamp from the same tag it set, just like Terry did. And I'm going to ink the stamp up with a permanent black ink. I'm using Noir Black Palette Ink. And I'm just going to stamp this on one edge of the circle, like that. I'm going to let this dry for a second. Now, I really felt like the 75th here got really lost, especially the T and the H that she stamped. You can barely even see that. And um, I really wanted that to pop because obviously you want, you know, such a memorable age to really stand out from the project as the focal point. So what I decided to do is use the, um, some dyes to cut out some various colors of paper and really be able to pop up the 75th. I wanted to die cut the 75 from this summer sunrise um, paper. It's the polka dot paper from the pattern pack. And I've just got a block of it and a block of Summer Sunrise cardstock, and I'm using a glue stick. And I'm just going to adhere this to the cardstock. The reason I'm doing that is that I want um, the numbers to be a bit more sturdy than just pattern paperweight because I'm going to be putting foam tape behind them. And this will um, thicken it up a bit and make them numbers a bit stir more sturdy once I die cut them. So I'm going to go and I'm going to go die cut these real quick. Okay now I'm back and I've die cut 
my numbers. I'm just going to pop them out of the block here. And as you can see, these are a lot more sturdy, have a little bit more substance to them than they would just the plain pattern paper. So I'm going to set those aside. And I'm going to get bring this back now that the ink's had just a tiny bit of a chance to dry. And I'm going to use Copic markers to color the banner in. I really liked how um, Terry colored them kind of in a gradient here with markers. And I just decided to actually make mine rainbow um, just to give it a little bit more pop. So I'm using um, a couple different shades of Copics here. I'm going to start with R29 for my red. And I'm going to color the H on the banner with that. And then I have YR18 for a deep orange. Y38 for a warm yellow orange. YG95 for the second P. And then finally, a BG18 for the blue. So I've got that all colored the way I would like. The last thing I did is I used the um, block alphabet die to create cut a T and an H from um, Simply Chartreuse cardstock. So I have all that ready to go. And I also have um, a scalloped Hawaiian Shore circle cut from the Limitless Layers 2.5 inch circle die collection, just like the white circle. So I'm ready to do some basic assembly. I'm going to start with this circle with the banner first, and I'm going to mat this with the Hawaiian Shore Scallop Circle, like that. Set that aside. I've opted to have an orange zest card base, and I'm going to take the background that we stamped earlier on the pure poppy, and I'm going to add that to the front of the card base. Put some adhesive on the back of this circle. And I want the banner just at a bit of an angle here, and I'm going to put it a little bit towards the left. Like that. I did like how um, Terry had it a bit more towards the right, but I opted to put mine towards the left because I have the size of the numbers and the letters um, to deal with. And since I have such a bigger size, it makes more sense to have the 75 kind of in the center of the card, which means that the circle element should be a little, a bit more left. So that's why I made that design choice. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some small pieces of foam tape on the back of the numbers and letters. Now I've got foam tape on the back of all of these and I'm going to go ahead and adhere them to my project. I'm going to add the 7 right here. I'm kind of making sure the top of this 7 is lined up with the top of the card. And I'm going to take the 5 and put that next to the 7. And then I'm going to take the T and I'm going to nestle that in just a bit here next to the 5. 
and add the T right here. And as you can see, this card has many of the same design concepts as Terry's card, but the 75 being more prominent just makes it easier to read and it just has an overall um, better flow to it. So thank you very much, Terry, for the inspiration. And I hope that a few of the tips that I gave you today and everybody else um, will help you become a better stamper. Before I sign off for the day, I just wanted to give another big um, shout out to Terry E for contributing her card and allowing me to use that as inspiration today. I hope a few of you have learned something new today and thanks for joining me.